And he's become an archetype now. It's the type of thing that if you want to frighten a little child, you just have to say, if you're not good, the Cheney man will get you. <laughs> no! And what's W doing now? He's a motivational speaker. Kind of cool. It's kind of like having Lindsay Lohan as a guidance counselor. <laughs> Way to go. And I love, I love the fact they're talking about opening the George W. Bush Library, which I think, wow. That's kind of like the Colonel Sanders Culinary Academy. <laughs> Just the concept alone boggles your mind. And they've already talked about making it very interactive, which I think is code for not so many books. <laughs> and I hope they have some of his great quotes on the walls, like, a lot of our imports come from other countries. Yes! <laughs> the question that's never asked, is our children learning? Didn't know that. People misunderestimate me. That's not even a fucking word. Way to go! And you gotta cut W some slack, man. He comes from a family where the smart brother is named Jeb, number one. And he had a wicked coke problem. And why did he have to stop doing blow? Because I believe one day he was like, Shit, my mom's on the dollar bill! Goddamn! Gotta cut this shit out! And near the end of his term, even world leaders were dissing his ass. There'd be the World Economic Leaders Conference and they'll be up there going, Oh, shit, here comes Skippy. Fuck off. <laughs> and he'd be up there like a kid at a graduation, like, nobody likes me. This is bullshit. This is crazy-ass shit. <laughs> but there was one guy who treated W with kindness and respect, and that man was Tony Blair. <laughs> Tony Blair and W was like the United Nations production of Rain Man. It was wonderful. <laughs> there was sweetness. <laughs> Tony, Tony be going to W. W, do you know the price of gas? Definitely don't know the price of gas. Don't know the price of gas. <laughs> do you have an economic stimulus package? Definitely have an economic stimulus package. Might work. Definitely might work. Give each and every American over the age of 20 $1 million. Tax them on a flat tax rate of 10%. Uh, gives back to government $100,000. Gives each and every American $900,000. Might stimulate locally and personally. Definitely might work. Definitely might work. <laughs> but W, W, do you know the price of gas? Definitely don't know the price of gas. And the definition of insanity is repeating the same action, expecting a different outcome. And we elected him the second time, the whole world went, what the fuck is going on with you people? <laughs> but now, we still have comedy though. We still have great comedy out there. There's always rambling Joe Biden. What the fuck? <laughs> Joe says shit that even people with Tourette's go, no. <laughs> no. What is going on? Joe is like your uncle who's got a new drug and hasn't got the dosage right. I'm proud to work with Barack America. He's not a superhero, you idiot. Come here. When FDR was on television, there was no TV back then. Come here, Joe. <laughs> Sit down. And then you always have senators willing to push the comedy envelope, like Senator Larry Craig, a guy who tried to pick up a man in a men's room by Morse code. How the fuck do you do that? How do you go, will you blow me? Maybe. And there's always Governor Sanford. He's a piece of work. That's wonderful. I'm going for a hike on the Appalachian Trail. Where does it end? Patagonia. Oh, fuck off. <laughs> and if always, if you want comedy, there is always Sarah Palin. God bless. She is wonderful. Sarah, Sarah is a self-opening pinata. She is a gift. <laughs> how did they find her? Was it Project Running Mate? Is that how they got her? Did Ronald Reagan have a kid with Vanna White and drop it off in Alaska? <laughs> and it was raised by wolves and that's why she hunts them? You're not my dad, you're not my dad! And she says amazing things like, I know about Russia because I can see it from my backyard. <laughs> you have supervision, number one. And I can see San Quentin from my backyard, but that doesn't qualify me on prison reform. What the fuck? And it's incredible, too. She said, polar bears are not endangered, they're just unlucky. Oh, really? <laughs> and who knew Katie Couric was the cutting edge of journalism with ambush questions like, what do you read? <laughs> well... Yeah. That's a trick question. Not if you read, no. You know, the basic difference between her and Cheney, she shoots you, game over. 
She will have you gutted and standing on the wall next to Barbara Walters like. And the last few days of the election, she got really sexy. She let the hair down. I thought the last day of the election, she was going to pop the Prada and be like, Phew. yeah. How do you like my northern slopes now, boys? <laughs> drill, baby, drill, baby, drill. And do you think the whole time she was running for office, Clinton was sitting at home going, where was she when I was in office? <laughs> Shit. God damn. She is hot. Whoa, that's a MILF. That's a mother I'd like to filibuster, yeah. <laughs> and Bill did some good work recently. He went to North Korea, got the two girls home. Way to go, Bill, way to go. Got them back, way to go. Good job. But I wanted to be in the room when Kim Jong-il came in the room and went, so, Bill Clinton, <laughs> you bring me the pictures I ask you for? Mm. I have on my big boy glasses. <laughs> I want those pictures and Clay Aiken. <laughs> what do you want Clay Aiken? You know why I want Clay Aiken. <laughs> That's how I roar, roar. That's how I roar, roar, roar. That's what I like. <laughs> and you think when Bill got back from North Korea and Hillary got back from Africa, that was a kind of a rough dinner when Hillary went, Bill, congratulations on North Korea. Well, baby, it was a happy ending. Shit, wrong words. <laughs> Come again, Bill? Not this time, baby, not this time. <laughs> and people got mad at Hillary that she didn't go trailer park on Bill's ass during the Monica Lewinsky thing. That she didn't start throwing his shit on the White House lawn like, Bill Clinton, you lying sack of shit! How could you find the only Jewish girl who couldn't get a stain out, you asshole! <laughs> Damn you! And he'd be on the lawn like an episode of Cops going, I love you, baby! <laughs> Depends on what your definition of is, is! And when Hillary ran for president, there were a lot of guys going, I don't know about a woman president. What are you worried about? You worried about every 28 days she'd be going, I can't talk to Putin, not today. <laughs> I'm just gonna balance my budget and watch my stories. <laughs> She's in her 60s, she has her own global warming right now, number one. <laughs> she is one tough ass woman. And you don't necessarily want sexy. I know when Sarah ran, a lot of guys are going, she energizes my base. Yeah, all right. But necessarily, you know, sexy and world leaders, not necessarily the case, especially with female world leaders. Throughout history, Elizabeth I, Catherine the Great, Golda Meir, Indira Gandhi, these are women you may not want to fuck, but you definitely don't want to fuck with them. <laughs> they are scary women, oh my God, woo! And if you don't think a woman can handle a military situation, ask the Argentinians. They were going, Margaret Thatcher, that crazy coño sank a battleship, she is nuts! She was like Julia Childs on steroids going, I will sink your shit right now. I will open a can of whoop ass on you, little brown man. I will do it right now. And you have to look at the English royal family and realize all that money and no dental plan. How sad. <laughs> so sad, indeed. But if you want sex and politics, the French are always there to top everyone. The French have a president, Sarkozy, whose wife fucked Mick Jagger. Way to go. <laughs> the French look at the Americans like, top that little Puritans, huh? take care. Huh? <laughs> and I believe there's one man we could run for office and even the French would go, fuck off. That man is Jack Nicholson. Yes! <laughs> oh yeah, baby. He's nuts. You'll never have a sex scandal with Jack because he has fucked everyone. I had Angelina Jolie, and afterwards she adopted me. <laughs> what? And he's done every known drug known to mankind. He'd be the only guy in the world that Keith Richards would go, I have to go home now, Jack. <laughs> no, I really do, he's fucking over. <laughs> Where are you running, you pussy? Get back here. And it's so weird, too. If if you elect celebrities, it's always not a great idea. Because in California, we are a 60% Hispanic state. We elected an Austrian governor. <laughs> Even old Nazis are going, that's weird. <laughs> he has a hard time even saying the name of the state. Arnold, where are you governor? California. <laughs> what? <laughs> and he's married to a Kennedy, Maria Shriver, who has been getting thinner and fucking thinner and smaller. I believe he is sucking the Kennedy out of her. 
slowly, slowly but surely becoming a Kennedy by assimilation, which is kind of cool. That's how you get a liberal Republican, which is neat. It's like a Volvo with a gun rack. You don't see a lot of them. <laughs> and in terms of energy policies, 21st century. Stem cell research, 21st century. Immigration, Arnold's a little old school. Uh, Arnold, how will you handle immigration? I will build a wall. <laughs> and even the Chinese go, that will not fucking work. <laughs> they will go around your wall. And who will build the wall? The people you are trying to fucking keep out. <laughs> so maybe you want to invent some self-picking fruit real quickly. Come with me right now. And in California, we barely balanced the budget. They were coming up with weird alternatives to balance the budget, like selling San Quentin as real estate. What the fuck? It's just like, are you going to open some sort of severe spa? <laughs> These are the lovely sodomy suites. Come with me over here. <laughs> oh, don't sit in that chair. <clears throat> Too late. Thank you. <laughs> and they're going to close Guantanamo. And I go, what are you going to open there? Maybe an amusement park. We'll call it Muslim Mountain. It'll be cool. What will the water slide be? We strap you to a board and send you headfirst into a pool. Good luck! <laughs> and where are they going to send all those guys from Guantanamo? And people in Texas are going, we'll take them. <laughs> <laughs> no, you can't. <laughs> no! <laughs> and the whole budget crisis, the whole manic recession, we've just come through this whole manic recession. Remember the bank saying, we're too big to fail. It's like saying, too fat to diet. What the fuck? What are you doing? <laughs> Remember, they came to us going, we need $500 billion. We went, okay, here you go. A week later, we need some more. <laughs> went, you fuckers are economic freebasing. What are you doing? <laughs> They're like a group of junkies who've relapsed and are going, no, my man, listen. I just need some liquidity, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I just ran into some bad subprime, you know? We had some complex formulas. We just didn't factor in greed and panic. Yeah. I just need $805 billion by Tuesday. <laughs> I would not fuck you again. And my God, it was insane. And in the midst of all this, there was Bernie Madoff, an embezzler named Madoff. <laughs> hmm. Yes. Was the name not a clue? Did he have to be with the accounting firm of do we fuck you and how? And now, Bernie's in prison where insider trading's a whole other game. <laughs> the bull market's what your ass will bear, motherfucker. Let's do this. Mm-hmm. Payback's a bitch. Yeah. And then the automobile companies needed help. And I thought, wait a minute. Wouldn't it be cool if the oil companies gave a little money to the automobile companies? I know it's like your dealer paying for rehab, but why not? Give us a shot. And now we're trying to get off the petroleum titty. It's like we're trying to kick it. And how are we doing this? Well, we're looking for alternative fuels. Some of the alternative fuels are a hydrogen-powered car. Cool idea. If you're thinking of a hydrogen-powered car, I have one word for you. Hindenburg, good luck. <laughs> and more interesting gas and a lot more fun is helium. Number one, with helium, you could float over the potholes. And if you get into an accident, you get out of the car with road rage going, I'm going to kick your ass. <laughs> what? Oh, my God. I've got a fuel leak. How weird is that? I can't kick your ass. I sound like a chipmunk. This is nuts. Look at all the clowns getting out of the trunk of my car. Fuck off. And I found another alternative fuel, and I found it by accident. I was having my morning coffee, and I had my morning coffee for two reasons. One, to kickstart my brain, but number two, and more importantly, to jumpstart my colon. More importantly. <laughs> and the moment I have my morning coffee, it's like, morning, everybody. Fire in the hole! Son, open the bathroom door. I don't care if you're rubbing one out. I've got to drop a resume. <laughs> open the door. And even the dog's going, he's leaking methane. <laughs> There's a dead canary in the corner like, ugh. <laughs> and I went, wait a minute. I'm leaking methane. I'm my own fuel source. How about this for a new car? The new Ford Colon. How about this? <laughs> Here's the ad. Me shirt, no pants, tube in my ass. Hi, I'm Robin Williams. I've just had a black bean burrito. <laughs> That's right. I'm going to drive all the way from San Francisco to Washington, D.C. <laughs> yep. The shit's hit the fan, and it's powering my car. <laughs> Won't you join us? Fuck green. Go brown. Come on. <laughs> Come with us. Now. <laughs>